Hello everyone, in last video we saw how to publish our internal web apps externally using Azure App Proxy. In this video we will see how to apply conditional access uh, policies on those web apps. I will apply the policy on uh, Windows as well as uh, Android and iOS devices and show you how it works. So in Azure portal we will go to Azure AD conditional access policies. Here we will set up the conditional access policy first on Windows 10 devices and we will allow the web app to be opened only on our hybrid devices. When I say hybrid, that means the devices which are joined to our domain. So if I open the web app on a non-domain device externally, it should not work. From policies, we will click on new policy and I have already created one. So this is the one under users and groups it's applied to all the users under cloud apps we will go to selected apps and select our internal app the name of the app which i created was internal app one so this i already selected and it's showing up here under conditions device platform i have selected windows so this policy will apply only on windows devices under grant we will select the condition when the access would be allowed so i have selected require hybrid ad joint device so if it's a windows device and if i try to open this app externally it will only allow if it's a hybrid ad joint device and i will enable this policy and save it this is my domain machine which is currently on internet it is hybrid ad joint it I'm logging in with my user account which has permission to access the web app. I'm logged in with my ID and let us try open the web app. And this time it should straight away log in and should not ask us for username password as I'm already logged into the machine using my account which has access to this app. So I am able to access the app now let us test the same thing on my machine here which is uh, not joined to domain and try accessing the web page so this machine is not part of domain and i'm logged in with my work group account it's asking me for username id i will put in the username id which has a uh, access to that app and the mfa token so here it's uh, giving me the message that i cannot access this website because this device is not domain joined so this is how you could set the conditional access policy for Windows 10 devices. There are other rules as well in the policies where you can allow the access only if the device is compliant or require multi-factor authentication. You could also specify the locations from where this app should be accessible. You can define that it should be accessible only from India or Australia not any other location so that is how the conditional access policy for windows 10 works now let us look at uh, mobile device policy so this i created earlier here also the same thing it's applied to all users under cloud app i have selected my internal app under condition i have selected android and ios as my devices under grant i have selected require approved client app so this means that this web app i will only be able to open in one of these apps so this is a web app so it should open in edge and not in chrome on my mobile device so let us test this scenario and see whether it works or not so let me turn it on save it here i am on my device this is an android device this is not joined to my intune tenant so i will try to open the website for us on chrome which is not an uh, approved app so it should not work i'm picking my account
so here it is it's giving me a message that I cannot uh, open this uh, web app on Chrome I will have to use edge and if I click on launch in edge it should take me to edge and uh, open the app so here is my edge on the Android mobile I will sign in with my account and now I will try to open the web app I do not have certificate on this uh, mobile but I will click on continue and it should work so I am able to access the web app on my mobile device in edge but not on Chrome due to the conditional access policy which I applied we can also modify the conditional access policy to allow it only on the devices which are MDM enrolled so we could select device to be marked as compliant and it will only be marked as compliant when it's uh, joined to our MDM and uh, compliance policy is applied to it so if I click on select and save and then do the same test on the device but this time in Chrome because now Chrome should work as well but the device is not compliant so it should give us some other message that the device is not compliant so you are not able to access the web page and should prompt us to enroll the device in Intune so last time it asked us to open the web app in edge because we set the conditional access policy that the web app should open only in uh, approved client apps which chrome is not part of so this time we change the policy for the device to be marked as compliant so that's why it's asking us to enroll the device in intune and then it will run the compliance policy and if the device is compliant it will open the web app so this is how conditional access policies work and you can link with your internal web apps for windows for android devices so even if you publish your internal web app externally you could have a rule where it's only accessible on domain joint devices or mobile devices which are enrolled into mdm or meet some conditions I hope you like this uh, small demo on Azure App Proxy and Conditional Access. Please uh, like, share and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.